Now to a second chance for an inmate who has spent more than 20 years on death row. Rodney Reed getting an indefinite stay of execution and a case that has gained national attention and given Reed some star support. I know that I'm innocent. This morning, a stay for convicted killer Rodney Reed just days before his execution, as new evidence raises questions about his guilt after sitting on death row for more than 20 years. 51-year-old Reed was to die by lethal injection on Wednesday for the 1996 murder of 19-year-old Stacy Stites, who prosecutors say he raped as she traveled to work in a town 30 miles outside Austin, her body dumped on the side of this rural road. Texas's top criminal appeals court Friday halting the execution after facing tremendous public outcry from lawmakers. There is a mountain of evidence pointing in another direction. And celebrities such as Beyonce, Oprah Winfrey and Kim Kardashian West, who met Reed yesterday in prison and was with him when he got the news of the stay. She posted this photo on Instagram, writing, words cannot describe the relief and hope that swept over the room in that moment. The case now going back to the trial court. The Innocence Project filing a lawsuit requesting further DNA testing of crime scene evidence, which they say prosecutors have denied. Wouldn't you want a new trial if you were Rodney Reed? All we're asking for is just what's right. In a jailhouse interview with our Deborah Roberts in October, Reed reiterated his innocence. This case it would, will itself exonerate me. Why? Why are you so convinced? because all the evidence points to the person who we all think did this crime. Reed claims Stites was killed by her fiance, Jimmy Fennell, who was upset she was having an affair with Reed. An attorney for Fennell recently telling ABC News his client was not involved, saying not based on any of the credible evidence or physical evidence or forensic evidence. He called it a concoction of creative, brilliant lawyers trying to save a condemned man. Now, attorneys for Reed say the prosecution's case was based on flawed evidence and that they have new witness testimony that could support Reed's claim of innocence. Experts say the review by the trial court could take up to a year. Remember, he was on death row for more than 20 years. Yeah, and it'll be interesting to see how it all plays Absolutely. out. Absolutely. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.